Okay, what's up guys? It's Cody with 3 Prime Technology. So for this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing another filament. This time it's going to be Isan's Natural Pet G. It's similar to a clear transparent cutter, but it's not actually 100% transparent. So comparing it to the filament that I reviewed in the last Filament review video. It's the same print info as the other one is, just different colors. So it's pretty much the same pet G filament except for the color not used or light cub since I am reviewing natural pet G. So therefore, the boxes that I shipped in it's going to be the same. Same as sun box just differently but it says natural pet G natural pet G instead of black so on this filament it has a nice smooth texture it's like a smooth silk type pillow no, it's not like a matte smooth like pillow eh? and it's pretty flexible nice flexible as flex filament but you can bend it somewhat like regular filament and here is what here is what the label says gives the information print temp 230 250 so like with the previous Isan Patriot filament that I reviewed reviewed I'm using the same simplified three settings for this one for this one as well nothing has changed but I'll recap the settings in this video just in case you missed the last one. Okay, so here's the Isan Natural Pet G being printed. Hard to see it because it's on grass good play and it is a transparent looking filament. But here you can see it being printed. So yeah. As with the other previous filament review that I did, this is the exact same filament brand and type. So I'm printing of the same temperatures, 245 extruder, 73 here bed. Only difference is the kettle, which is debatable that it could change the quality of the print. But it's a different topic. But so here is the info for the temps right now. Okay, so moving over here, here is the Pet G 3 print part. I'm printing two of these pieces, so here's the first one finished. It's a MMU2 holder for Presa. But here is what it looks like print quality. So as you can see this was the side the bed was on so you can see the end fill in it. And then let's see if we can get a good close up of the rear lines. Thanks about as good as this camera is coming to get, but they're not bad for simplified 3D settings. It's probably not the most perfect layer lines, but it'll get the job done. Then still got a little bit of retraction settings and stuff right here to work on. But other than that, it's a pretty good print. Here's the top. It's where you see the different texture than the bottom. Still don't have a part fan on the set, so it's 
This won't be working like a Prisa pet flea print. But I like the texture on it. And here we can put one piece in so you see how the integrity of the piece goes. Put the snaps in place. Nice and strong because it doesn't move. And there's where the. So it's a, it's a durable print material. But if you like to be honest, if you first, make sure to click subscribe and leave a comment down below about film and actually review next.